Greetings, Code Traders. It is Tuesday, August 7th, 2018, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to get started trading here. It's uh, 5.54 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's California time in the morning, and basically oil pretty much basically opens up at 6 a.m. I mean, oil is always open. It's open 24 hours, but it, it, it basically switches over to like the new market at 6 a.m rather than 6.30 a.m. which the stock market opens. But anyway, you can just look at it this way. All the action is going to start taking place right at 6 a.m. So that's in uh, less than, uh, that's in uh, five minutes from now. And uh, here, this is what the uh, daily looks like for you uh, charting subscribers. You know, it, it really doesn't look very good, no matter what it does. Uh, the only thing, well, if it, if it uh, continues its pattern, it's going to stay within this range. So it's probably going to give a short entry up here and then come down. But it's probably not going to come down a whole lot and then move within this range. Pretty much probably already made its, its range and its bar already on the on the daily chart or if not then it's going to move even higher here uh, the chances of it going all the way back down and making another line like that one and, or going red not too good uh, the chances of it going even higher is better than that than that chance um, chances of it going down and going back up and going down today is pretty good so it's got quite a few different possibilities today. That's why I'm saying it doesn't really look that good. I would prefer to see it go up and go up and break this high up here. That way we'll get like a breakout and then we then we're good to go and then we can then we can start to really move again and uh, possibly continue to move up. Because if we are going to go up, we're going to get some days like this again. And when we get those days, it's just it's um, it should be too, it's just too easy is what it is. When you use the codes, these days are just too easy to hit them and hit big trades. Same with these too, these big down days, they're also really good. But uh, these choppy little days in here, they can be, you know, well with the code you can do really super well, but this particular day doesn't look all that great though. But if we do get a long entry, uh, right here at the top, that would be good. Should shoot up a bit. Um, I wouldn't look. I wouldn't keep looking for a day to keep going up, though. I'd look for a choppy day like this. Look for a day like this. Day like this. Day like this. Day like this. Like this. Like this. Choppy day. Okay, I'll be back once uh, a code two signal has come. Got a short entry here. I'll be right back. Okay, stop is set to 69.83. Going for 100 ticks. I'll come back. Okay, it's starting to move down here. Take a look at the daily. You see the daily there. I mean, it could it could go red. What's the bottom at? 68.81. And I'm sitting down at 68.70. So uh, it will need to go uh, 11 ticks below this bottom here in order for me to make the exit. Uh, let's see here. That would mean it's going to go red, obviously. But see, here's the thing. If this thing is going to go down and go red like that, it's probably going to go a bit further. So from here, I should be able to hit more like about, let's see, where would it go to? Let's say it would go down to about 68.40. And right now I'm at 70, so that doesn't really give me much, much more ticks. It only gives me an extra uh, 30 ticks. extra 30 ticks so I mean I could possibly hit an extra 20 if I 
to look at the 10 minute again. Yeah, the 10 minute looks perfect. Uh, daily, yeah. Yeah, so let us think about that for a second. Red, green, red, green. And red, green, red, green, and then back to red again. Hmm. But if it does make that move, that means it's gonna, it means it's most likely gonna come down, break below these bottoms here, instead of going up high. Anyway, let's just watch it, try not to speculate too much about it, see what, see what it seems to want to do, because it, it very well may change direction, but the 10 minute does look very good right now, at the moment. Anyway, uh, we'll come back. Okay, I'm going to place a uh, break even stop on this trade. Bring down the break even stop. Okay, break even stop in place. The trade can no longer lose anymore. Uh, there is a reason for doing so. Looks like it's going to maybe drop out here. If it does, it goes down and breaks below these lows here. Now we'll have the trade. It's no, it's no problem. In fact, it'll be a um, it'll be a breakout a breakout technique. Using the breakout technique, it'll be an entry uh, for entry for code two. Yeah, it's about to drop out here. Well, maybe not yet. <laughs> here it goes. Well, it's been a little tricky here, but anyway, once it breaks below here, we'll be in good shape. And I would say the mathematical chances of that happening are very good right now at this point. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, it is continuing to move down here. Let's go take a look at the daily. Okay, it's getting more and more realistic that this thing could go red. And um, completely reverse its uh, direction. But uh, at the same time, keeping an eye on the code and to see if we get a code 2 to go long, which is a possibility. I don't think it's going to happen, but it is certainly very possible. I mean, it, it may happen after it's maybe gone down quite a bit and then maybe go long again. But um, anyway, just following the codes here, still running it down, going for 100 ticks. I'll be back. Okay, it's still continuing to move down here. Still got quite a ways to go though to make it down to the 6870 exit for 100 ticks, which I think it should be able to make here, unless it does make a reversal, which it could, could do. I'm watching it right now. It is a possibility. Looking for a code 2 signal. If the code 2 signals to go short, then it's going to go down and go red. If it says to go long, it's going to go back up again. Anyway, I will come back. Here we have a short signal. Short signal on the code 2. Uh, the only way that it would bounce now is if it were offset, which of course is a possibility. So I am just going to hold it. If it is offset, I am going to seriously consider at least exiting the trade possibly and even going long. But I would not want to see it do that. Because, see the 10 minute? That, you know, it looks about as perfect as it's going to look. Now the, now the daily is not look that good. Unless it is going to come all the way down and go red. Then it looks good for that. Which I think it is going to do here. Anyway, not so hard to catch these trades, right? Not so hard. And then... See, the hard part is not really catching the trade so much, especially when you have the code. The hard part is holding on to it. That's where a lot of people fail. They say, oh, you know, and they finally get ahead, some, some ticks, and then they get out. But they're really kicking themselves because you really need to hit some good-sized trades. Like on this trade right here, you should be hitting a minimum of 50 ticks on this trade. I'm going for 100. think I should be able to hit it. I might even go for 120. 
Because if I can get 100, I can probably get 120. Because if it's going to go down 10 ticks below that bottom, then it'll go... Twenty more ticks. Twenty more ticks below that bottom. Maybe even more. Maybe much more. But I'm just saying, you know. So I should be able to get 120 ticks on this trade. Anyway, I will come back. But the key, the secret, is not just the code. It's also you being able to hang on. You'd be surprised how many people can't do that. And because. Well, it's a very complex reason, you know, but uh, it's just the bottom line, you know, we, it's not easy. It's not easy, be, and also, it'll constantly mess with you, you know, on days that you think it would go big, and you go for it, and it doesn't make it, and only if you had gone much smaller, you would have did really well, but, and then on days you try to go much smaller to do really well, only to see it go really big, and you miss out. You know, so it, it'll constantly mess with you one way or another. Uh, that's why you really need to do like one way and then make an exceptions to that when it seems like it's a it's another way. Like for instance, um, always go for a big trade unless it looks like it's just actually the, with the way that Code Two is right now as we speak, you can just use that as a guide the whole entire time. So, like right now, I have two code two short signals. Two back-to-back -back code two short signals. Now, one of them has not been mathematically confirmed. This, the, the last one has not been mathematically confirmed. So it may turn out that that signal, what appeared to be short, is actually a long signal, and it's actually offset, and I will know that mathematically speaking, if it happens and then I would know to go long. Otherwise, it's a short, and I'm just sitting here holding it. Not too hard to do that. But, you know, you're sitting in trade, and instead of looking at the chart, relaxing, you're looking at the price, the money, and not relaxing. That's the problem. That can be a problem. If you let it. But, um... Anyway, the real key is not just the code, but it's holding for a good amount of ticks. That is what's going to make you the money trading the oil market. That is what's going to take advantage of using the codes, and the, especially the code too. So anyway, got about, what, 60 ticks to go for 100 ticks. I'll be back. Okay, we have another code two short signal. That makes uh, three of them, three code two short signals. So we're good to go. This is going to go down and um, should be a pretty good day. I'll come back. Should be able to make the 100 ticks. I'll come back. Yeah, I've just gotten out of the last trade. Uh, it looks like um, I've not gotten a confirmed signal yet, but it looks like it may want to go long here. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point is use the breakout technique. And once I've taken the entry, I'll come back. Okay, I've got a short entry here. I'm going to place the stop. Stop is going to be set to 6967. 6967, that's a 12-tick stop. And we'll go ahead and keep the 100 ticks on this one. 100 tick exit. I'll come back. By the way, for you code traders, that was a code 1 entry off the temp. And uh, going for the code 2 trade here. If wrong, it's going to come up and hit the stop, and I go along with it. Okay, I just exited that trade. I'm prepared to take another trade here. I'm looking for a code 2 signal. As soon as I get one and take an entry, I'll come back. Okay, I've got a short position here. Resetting the stop. Setting the stop to 
6957. 6957 on the stop. That's a 10 tick stop right there. Going for 100 ticks again. Try to try again to get it right. I'll come back. Okay, this one should be it. It should drop out from here. Go down to the bottom. Go right below this bottom and then proceed down to my. Well, let's see, I'm way down there now, aren't I? I'm going to have to back off on the exit a bit. But uh, let me see, down to f 47. Hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. It needs to drop out a lot for it to make it down there. We'll see how it goes. I'll come back. Okay, I was uh, stopped on that last trade. So I am going to take another trade. I just, what I'm going to do is use the uh, breakout technique here. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a short entry here. Resetting the stop. Stand by. Stop is going to be set to 6961. 69.61 on the stop. Alright, let's take a look now. Hmm. That makes one code two short. This will be two code two short. We're about to get a breakout here. Using the breakout technique, about to get an entry. I'll come back. Things been a bit choppy here, but it's about to uh, break down and go down here now, I think. You know, you just have to stay aggressive uh, in your entries using the code. And then when you get it right, you just hold it. I'm hoping that I have it right right here, and all i got to do is just hold it. It's a piece of cake from here. But you see, what happened is it went up and chopped back and went all the way down and chopped back and then you know this one all the way down and chopped all the way back up and this one we're just going straight down on a re big red line and I've got a big red bar and I've got a short entry here because as per the code 2 it has given a signal now let's see did it give a final signal let's see no it has not it almost gave a short signal but it has not done so yet. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, we also just got another code two, code two special short signal. This thing's gonna drop out here. All right, so we know we got it. Um, well, the only thing I foresee to do then is to go red. It's gonna go red for today. And uh, 60, 6881. Hmm, let's see here, 81. I don't know about making 100 ticks off of this, but we'll see how it acts. I don't think it's going to make 100 ticks, so I'm probably going to go for like about maybe 60 ticks here. I'll come back. Okay, so I need to make a decision here. Am I going to get out here? Let's take a look at the 10 minute. You can see a possible bounce coming here. Am I going to get out here or hold on to this thing? No, we got to hold on to it. If you, How do you hit the big trades? You hit the big trades by going for the big trades. There's no way, mathematically, that I know of, to hit a big trade without going for the big trade. Actually, there is a way. You could do it by accident. But besides doing it by accident, there's no way to get there unless you go for it. And that's what I'm trying to do now. But we do have a mathematical chance of a reversal right here. You see, this is what I was saying about in the charting service. you got to watch out for a day. Instead of it continuing on in one direction, it's going to reverse back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it may do that right here. The mathematics on it is mm, pretty pretty good. I mean, 
I say pretty good. It's like it's not it's no better than 50-50, but usually it wouldn't even be anywhere near that good. And right now the mathematics have increased that we could get a bounce here, even though it you know may not look like it on the daily. But I uh, just got to pay attention to the code. At the same time, technically speaking, we have a short entry off the code too, special. But if that turns out to be offset, then it's going to go back the other way. Uh, I think it might just do that too. Ooh, some days are hard. Some days are easy. Got to take the easy days and be happy with them. Because some days not so easy. Okay. Daily looks good for continuation. We're going down. Ten minute. Mm, I'd say ten minute also looks good for continuation to go down. Let's take a look here. Stop should be set to sixty nine. 69.49. Where's my stop at? I haven't set it. 69.49 on the stop. Uh, I've adjusted that stop to another code 2. It's a code 2 special stop. So I was able to tighten up the stop by using a different code 2 special, different code 2. And it actually happens to be called a special. I call it a special for a special reason. So anyway, uh, the question now is, is whether it's going to continue to go down or continue to go up. Mathematically speaking, within the code, it is sitting on the fence. It could go either way. Now, if I wanted to, I could get out here and then play a breakout, or I could take a chance and hold it and see if I'm right. If I'm not right, certainly not going to lose on the trade. I'll take the break, go in the other way and get back in again but I'm certainly not going to let it go up and go past my my entry I mean I could already put a break even stop on it right now which I'll go ahead and do okay break even stop set so I have to worry about the trade and then what it would do is it would make a break going long and I would just take it long only I don't know about getting t too many ticks out of it because it just keeps going back and forth back and forth Anyway, I'll come back. Uh, chart setting up for a code 2 here again. We might get it long. If it does, I'm just going to jump out and call it a day pretty much. Because it's just really super choppy today. If we get a short, it'll continue to go down. But if it goes long, I'm just going to call it quick. So I don't want to wait for this next exit. I don't want to sit here and wait for it. It's getting, it's just getting too late for me to bother. But it'll probably be the biggest move of them all. This next code. It's been like that lately. If it keeps going down, though, I'll just hang on to it. And let it go. Should be able to hit the exit if it continues to go down. Or actually, no. I, it, uh, I'm gonna back off on the exit some, down to about maybe 60, 70 ticks, something like that. taking a look at the code okay I'll come back but I, I'm there's a good chance I'm going to exit this trade here okay I have exited the trade we appear to be getting a long signal off of code 2 right now and I don't want to bother with it, it I don't know how far up it's going to go it may not go very far the only way I would jump back in is if it if the uh, code 2 look offset and it breaks back the other way and then I'll go ahead and take it short. Anyway, I will come back in a little bit. Actually, no, it's going to go up. Okay, I'm all done for today and uh, I'll be back for tomorrow and uh, do some more code trading. Hope all of you code traders are doing well and hope all of you uh, code traders and especially charging subscribers hit the trade today even though we didn't get very much out of it did we how much did we get out of it we only got like 40 ticks out of it that's how tight it is today 
40 ticks. I mean, it's probably going to continue to go down, actually. I don't think it's going to stay within a 40 tick range. This code right here is probably going to be offset. It's probably going to give a short entry and go back down again. Anyway, I'm all done, though. I don't want to take any more entries. I'll be back tomorrow to do some more trading. Hope you co-traders are doing well. Happy trading out there.